Bibula 51, turn right, heading 183. The never ending saga surrounding Qatar Airways, Airbus, and the A350 aircraft continue following new developments appearing from the South China Morning Post, indicating that Qatar Airways fully expects that it will be needing to ground more of the Airbus A350s over these surface paint difficulties, and will also be looking toward other wide-body aircraft to lease in temporarily to help aid its global recovery. The leasing of aircraft, with already some Cathay Pacific 777s drafted in, is a decision that has been made alongside the welcoming back of the A380 temporarily albeit for the latter, that was done very reluctantly, as this is not what Qatar Airways had wanted, but due to the grounding of upwards of 20 of the A350s, it was a decision that was necessary to continue their network. According to Qatar Airways, the A350 crisis is severe, however the main problem from all of this has been the stance of other airlines, and that of Airbus themselves, who believe that this is not a severe problem, and that Qatar Airways is exaggerating. Airbus has already released a statement saying that they would be looking towards legal teams to help aid them with this battle, as they firmly believe the repercussions of what Qatar Airways is saying will impact the A350 negatively. I've already discussed this in a video on the channel a couple of days ago. If you are interested in learning more about the legal repercussions that the aircraft manufacturer is looking at towards Qatar. In addition, 12 or so other airlines have already reported the same problem that Qatar identified. However, unlike the Doha-based airline, these 12 customers have indicated that it is a cosmetic issue with alongside airlines the European Aviation Safety Agency also stating that there's no reason for the aircraft to be grounded. In an interview with the South China Morning Post, the Qatar CEO further stated that the damage is done with Airbus and repairing that relationship will be incredibly difficult. However, I can definitely see in getting repaired really only one way and that would be through them achieving the compensation that several people have noted they may be looking for or a favourable adjustment to deliveries. The CEO further stated that Airbus only cares about its financial statements rather than its customers in what was an interview that was very much an attack on the European aircraft manufacturer and certainly highlighted just how upset they are as a company with Airbus. And this is especially following Airbus's very public article stating that they were taking this battle to legal teams, something we do not often see. As we know, for Qatar, an A350 freighter is completely off the table, with the CEO saying that he believes Airbus will never get an order for the aircraft like what they were going to place. Now, it appears they'll go for the 777X freighter, so the drama definitely continues, and it isn't necessarily a shock to me. Qatar operates very much in the public eye, and they're not shy of saying how they feel, especially the CEO. It's an approach that isn't shared by many other airlines, who definitely attempt to remain, and argue, a lot more professional than Qatar Airways. Thanks very much for watching. Do take care and be safe. I appreciate all the support, and I hope you're enjoying your December, and I will see you next time.